All right. I am experimenting with another microphone again. I bet I chopped my head off. Regardless, I'm experimenting with another microphone, another means of video recording, this time with a different uh, smartphone app. So this time I want to talk a little bit about image focus for rectoscope uh, versus parallax. I saw a thread in the hide. There was a question about it. The question was, is when you focus, your uh, side focus turns for the best image, does it also gives you the best parallax? If everything inside the scope is built correctly, then yes, but that is not necessarily the case. So I've got sort of a stylized, badly drawn, I'm not an artist, uh, badly drawn picture of a rifle scope here. So it's objective, objective lens, uh, whatever light comes in gets focused onto here. This is the front focal plane, right? So this is a this particular lens. It's a crude, um, it's a crude representation of a lens group that moves, moves in and out when you adjust side focus, right? Then uh, the light path through the scope goes through the erector system, something like this, and it comes up here. This is a second focal plane, right? And then from here it gets projected out, out of the eyepiece, right? So there are three optical systems. And basically what happens is that the objective is supposed to be focused on where the front focal plane is, in an FFP scope, that's where the reticle is. The eyepiece is supposed to be focused on the second, on the rear focal plane, where the reticle is on hunting scopes and all that. And the uh, optical system in the middle, the erector system, basically all it does is it re-images the reticle from here front focal plane onto the second focal plane and does some magnification, right? For example, the image is larger in the second focal plane than in the front focal plane. Okay. So when uh, you're looking at objects of different distance, the objective lens focus creates the image in a slightly different spot. It may be here, it may be here. So if it's not directly superimposed on the radical, you get this uncorrected parallax condition where you can kind of look, uh, move your head left, right, up, down, and see the reticle move. Why? Because basically you can, there's some reticle pattern here, the image is created here, you can look, when you look at it from here, you see one spot, when you look at it from here, you see another spot, right? I hope this is making sense. Okay. So what a Side, that's, that's my radical. What the side focus knob does, it moves this lens group to compensate for different distance, right? So effectively what you're making sure using the side focus is that the image created by the objective system, objective lens, is always superimposed on the radical, okay? So, so far so good. Here is the problem. The Erector system does not have any external available adjustments, right? It is set up at the factory so that on this side it needs to be focused exactly on the radical, and on this side it's going to be it's, it's uh, supposed to be focused exactly on the second focal plane, right? Oh, if the radical is there, the radical there, right? Right now I'm talking basically about the FFP scopes, but this applies to everything else. So what happens? If at the factory, when they were building this scope, the rapture lens system was not perfectly focused on the front focal plane, right? Then the image that is going to look perfectly sharp through the erector system is going to be something focused, let's say it's a little bit closer here. It can be front or back focus, doesn't matter, right? So what happens now is that to get the perfectly focused image, right, you will adjust your uh, side focus to this lens group so that the objective lens system creates an image in the same place where the erector system picks it up, but it's not necessarily the same place where the reticle is. Okay? It'll look beautiful, but you will still have parallax. 
So if you want to have a parallax free condition, when you're adjusting the side focus, you should be adjusting it so that the objective lens system focuses, uh, creates an image exactly where the reticle is, in the reticle image plane, right? And if the erector system is not quite perfectly, ideally adjusted at the factory, you can end up in a condition where the image is very slightly blurry. I hope it makes sense. It's uh, sort of the best explanation I come up with. Uh, the idea is that with really fancy high-end scopes, you don't run into this too much. They go to great lengths to make sure that uh, the erector lens system uh, focuses exactly on where the front focal plane is and recreates the image exactly where the rear focal plane is if the reticle is in there and all that. In our case, we really... Yeah, but that's basically that. Because what happens is that when you set up the eyepiece, you set it up for where the reticle is, right? So if the original image that the reticle system picks up is not exactly where the reticle is, uh, when you're parallax free, you might be very, very slightly out of focus. But with fancy scopes, it doesn't happen as much. With less expensive hopes, scopes happens a little more. One of the things that happens with inexpensive scopes is that when you change your magnification, which means these lenses, I mean, there's more lenses than this in the erector system, uh, but um, I just drew two as a schematic. There are a lot, generally a lot more lenses. If you remember my hand soft picture, you'll be you'll, you'll able to understand. But what happens when you change magnification, these two lens groups, sometimes three, move with respect to each other. I've seen in expensive scopes where because of all that movement, where it was actually focusing here near the front focal plane was really varying with magnification. So that made it even more, uh, what, that made making a parallax-free uh, uh, parallax image even more involved. But if you're running in on tangent data or something, uh, chances are when the image is in focus, it's also going to be parallax-free. But it's not a bad thing uh, to change that. Not a bad thing, pardon me. Not a bad idea to test that. When you get a new scope, go through the painstaking exercise of getting the eyepiece set up for your eye and then go to some place like a normal shooting range where you have targets at a known distance mess with the side focus and investigate this carefully see if with your scope the parallax free setting coincides with the best image quality setting okay. i hope this makes sense if it doesn't please let me know i'm going to try to verbalize it in a better way have questions um, leave me a comment and once again thank you for watching i appreciate your time go to my website click on some links help me pay for this thank you